All right, so today we are using Canva to practice um, different things with typography that we learned last week. Um, remember, we learned common fonts and font rules, um, and then we also learned about hierarchy and contrasting fonts. So we are going to be practicing all of those things today in Canva. So first up, I want for you to log into Canva and create a new design that is seven by five inches. And I'm gonna collapse that because I don't need that. So we have this rectangle over here. I want for you to click over here on the sidebar for text and ignore all of that. Those are great suggestions, but we're going to be practicing making our own. Add a heading and collapse that again. And I want for you to delete that um, default text and type in your name to begin with. And then I'm going to resize this by just pulling the corners. That's one way that you can resize text. Um, the second way that you can resize it is up here with these different size options. Both are super easy. I'm going to move this to the top. So first up, you are going to um, change this to a serif font. Remember, that's one of our fonts with the extra tips on the ends of the letter. So this is a serif font. So I can choose that one. There are so many fonts here on Canva that you can use. Um, you might notice that some of them have this little crown here. That means that they come with the premium um, subscription to Canva. Just pick a free font. There's so many free fonts that you can choose from. So first one is Serif. Now I am going to copy and paste my name and move it below. Give it some room. And then I'm going to change this one to a Sans Serif. So remember, I'll just scroll down here so I can get a different selection. Our sans serif fonts are the ones without the extra tips on them. And some of them even say like what kind of font they are in the name. Like this one says serif and this one is sans. So I know that's a sans serif, so I can pick that one. Um, that one's a little bit more decorative than I thought it was going to be. I'll choose this one. So serif, sans serif, and we're going to do it again, surprise and change it to a display font. So these are the ones that have more personality. They're not strictly a serif or sans serif font. Um, there's a lot of very cool fonts in Canva. I kind of like that one. It's a little bit funky. Um, so pick a display font. This would be a display font. So with that one um, to use in here and then also just resize as necessary. So I'm gonna make that guy a little bit smaller so that way it fits on this page. So that was steps one through six in part one. Now part two, um, we're gonna click the plus icon to make a new page. So that is this, add a new page. And it's going to add a page two. So we have page one here, page two here. And I'm going to paste my name again. And for part two, um, we are going to be working on tracking and letting. So for my name here, I'm going to click the spacing button up here and increase the space between my letters. Make that a little bit smaller so I can fit my second one on here. Okay, and then for my next one, I am going to increase the line height, which doesn't work unless you have two different lines. So I need to press return and try it again. Okay, so that's going to increase the space between my letters. Um, and again, I need to make that smaller so it'll fit on my page. So there we have it. We have tracking and letting. Part three is hierarchy. So we are going to again make a new page. 
I'm going to paste my name and this time I'm going to make either my first or last name bigger or bolder so that way I can kind of create emphasis on it. Emphasis is our um, principle of design and it's basically the same thing as hierarchy. So I'm going to click this bold button and then I'm also going to increase hmm, my text size. You know what happened? It increased both of them because they're both in the same text box. So I'm going to cut that and paste it. Oh, it wants me to use the shortcuts on my keyboard. Okay. It's trying to do it so you guys can see it. Okay. Um, so basically what I had to do is make these two separate text box. Um, so that way I can make them different. So again, I'm going to bold my last name. And then I want to make it bigger. Now you can do your first or last name, it doesn't really matter to me. But this is how we create emphasis. So making something bigger and bolder so that way it stands out first. So Miss Bartel. Last one is contrasting fonts. Um, so we're gonna make a new page um, and then choosing two different but complementary fonts. So thinking about that video that we watched, um, it said that we could use thick and thin. Um, what else can we use? Oh my goodness. Um, we can use thick and thin. We can use script and plain, bold and simple. So Canva is actually pretty cool because you can type in um, what you're looking for. So if I want a script font, I can type that in and it's going to give me all sorts of options here. That one's kind of cute, so I'm going to use that one. Okay, and then somehow I lost my first name, so I'm just going to paste my last name and then type in Miss. Okay, um, so... I have a script font that's kind of bold, so I think I want to complement that a sans serif font. Something that's just really light and simple. Maybe like this one. It's kind of tall. I kind of want something that's shorter because my script is kind of tall. That's too bold. That's not skinny enough. So kind of play around with... Ooh, that might be perfect. Um, with the different kinds of fonts, sorry, my friend wants me to make her art. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just so that way I can grade it. Um, make this a little bit bigger, but I don't want to make it too big. So different but complementary fonts. Now your last step is to download it, make sure it's a PNG, and it's going to download all four pages, which is what you want. Download and then read the inspirational quote, as always. And upload to our typography assignment. That is all.